The 2021 season has come to an end for the Boston Celtics, and we can all agree what a season it was, full of highs and lows and everything in between. But one thing remained constant throughout it all, and that was the fight of this group and their ability to stick together no matter what was thrown their way. And as we turn the page and look towards the future, here are my top three takeaways from the season. Number one, the ascension of Jason Tatum. Tatum once again was able to take it to another level and also make history with his 50-point showings, including holding off the Brooklyn Nets in Game 3 during the playoffs as he dropped 50 against the Nets' Big 3 and guided the Celtics to a 125-119 to win in front of an electric crowd at TD Garden. He became the third youngest player in NBA history to score 50 points and just the sixth Celtic to hit that point total in the postseason. Oh, and we can't forget, against the San Antonio Spurs, he logged 60 points to tie the great Larry Bird's single game franchise record. He's so advanced, again, for 23 years old. It's, you know, it, I've said the word special. I, you know, I don't say that very often, obviously. Number two, as we all know, the Boston Celtics aren't the Boston Celtics without their fan base. And getting the fans back to near full capacity for the playoffs, well, that made for an electric atmosphere at TD Garden. But you don't have to take my word for it. Just have a listen. Number three, last but certainly not least, as we look towards the future, that future has Brad Stevens as the president of basketball operations for the Boston Celtics, as Danny Ainge announced his retirement on Wednesday, June 2nd. And as Stevens assumes his new role, Ainge feels very comfortable giving him the reins. With Brad's leadership and, and his organization and his work ethic and intelligence, I think it's going to be a great, this is a great day for the Celtics. And I think this is actually even a, a big step forward.